Welcome ancient ones and welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome to Awakening the Ancients. So um, I have a, quite a few downloads to get through but I'm not going to do them all in this one video. I'm going to focus on a set at a time. So this first one, um, this is for a sacred, a very sacred divine being um, who is having magic thrown on them. Uh, Whoever is doing this is doing some type of blood magic or Hekka in a sense, and, but they're calling it manifestation. Um, they are purposely writing scenarios, using the person's name, trying to manifest some type of situation or relationship or some type of outcome to this. You could have removed yourself from this energy and they're still trying to pull on uh, to you. Um, the numbers seven and eight could also be significant as well as the colors red and orange and yellow. Um, I was picking up on chakra energy needing to be healed and it could be because of this ind individual. They know how sacred you are. They know that you have a lot. One, one, one. When I said that, they know that you have a lot of blessings, um, coming your way and that you're a very sacred being. And so they want to try to tie themselves to you some way somehow so let's see what do, <laughs> what do these ancient divine beings need to know you're definitely a divinely guided and protected when i recorded this the first time i had to delete it didn't work out right i had mistakenly i was trying to say divinely and i kept saying guidely and then godly and you are you are someone with a god body you're very godly you could be um, realizing this about yourself or this is something that you are getting clues about from your team. What do these ancient divine beings need to know at this time about this energy, about this situation? Yeah, you're going to receive great fortune. You could be uh, 26 already. The first number coming out, this breaks down to an eight. Those numbers could be significant for you. Life paths, birthdays. What else do these ancient divine beings need to know? You're definitely getting some type of fresh start, some type of new beginning. A victory here is in the cards for you. Yeah, wow, look at this. Yeah, we have main lady and, oh, oh, main lady. We have privileged lady and main female coming out here. Look at that, 212. You could be seeing 212, that mirror number that we talked about it could be a life path number three or two those numbers could be significant for you but when you get this great fortune you're definitely going to be this privileged lady and remember guys this is just energies we all have both feminine and masculine energy so take it how it resonates but you're definitely someone like i said you're coming into blessings and they want that and yeah look at this thief out here this is someone coming to steal whether it's something spiritual or material on this round they're they're coming they're, they're coming to sell it number 24 could be significant six could be significant for you what else do these ancient divine beings need to know at this time Ooh, whoa whoa i'll take this one because it was like fighting wow yeah this could have been someone that you were with we have number one coming out here or someone you knew at your job they knew look at that unexpected income they knew that you were supposed to get some type of unexpected income and that you were going to be this official person going on this journey and they wanted to go on this journey with you the spirit is saying they can't we have number 34 out here seven again could be significant we have 10 27 and 22 those numbers could be significant they could be your life path age or birthday numbers Oh, way too many cards. Bottom of the deck, you can have a child with this person. They have number 18, or this person can have a child. They are fooling right now. Look at that. Sutton Wealth wanted to pop out in high honor. You're definitely coming into blessings, whether it's material or spiritual. Yeah, these people are under judgment, like I said. Spirit is, I don't even know if I said it, but I damn sure wrote it down. Spirit is calling judgment. I'll show you right here. I wrote that shit down. 
right at the top. Spirit is calling judgment for a sacred divine being. Sorry for the handwriting, but when I channel, I, I write fast. But we have uh, adjudication and imprisonment out here, number 30 and 29. Th those could be your ages. Again, with number 11 coming out here, we have, um, you, know, you could be a path life number 11. And, it, and 11 is a very karmic number, so this could have even been um, some type of karmic connection for you somehow. Um, but Spirit is saying either way, if they continue to try to manifest you in this situation, they're going to manifest some type of karmic situation for themselves, especially with imprisonment out here. What the messages? Yeah, look at that. We have house. You could be wanting to move. You could be expecting some type of house. This person could be causing some type of situation with you over a house. Could be over some type of legal dispute over a house, whether it's a divorce or some type of inheritance. Take that how that resonates. What else do these? <laughs> what else do these ancient divine beings need to know? Didn't even let me get it out. And we have six and seven out here. You could be 67. You could be 76. These could be a life path of birthday numbers. We have harmony and crown chakra coming out here. You're definitely someone that's sacred. Your chakras are in alignment. They were trying to be some type of disruptor. They wanted to disrupt and gaslight you. Maybe even make you feel crazy about some of your intuitive and psychic gifts. Because you're someone that's very gifted. Very... <laughs> very much telepathic and psychic you could have even known that this was going to happen and you probably tried to warn them but they didn't believe you what else do these ancient divine beings need to know yeah like i said number three could be significant for you we have partnerships and alliances this is someone definitely that you were in some type of partnership or alliance with nonetheless yeah look <laughs> With six coming out here, being half of uh, being another half of this card, memories of love. Yeah, this was somebody you definitely were in some type of situation or relationship with, or you you had some type of rapport with them, in a sense, and they're holding on to some type of memories here. You could be seeing sixty six. This is a uh, spirit is also saying you're receiving some type of partnerships and alliances in the form of community. You'll be uplifted or something that you do. Yeah, wow. That was flipped up for a reason. Number seven, two. Again, deception and envy. This person was definitely being deceptive with you. They were envious of your gifts in a way. Yeah, look at that with the universe at the bottom. Number three, again, 21 out here. You could be 21. You're someone that's very connected to the universe. Yeah, you're receiving a new beginnings. Look at that. Prosperity begins. Number one represents those new beginnings. You're leaving a chapter of tough lessons. In fact, that's what I want to talk about too um, in my next video about March 7th. All the beautiful changes and the cosmic shifts occurring. You're definitely being blissed at this time, the ancient divine being. Ooh. Way too many pop up. It was three. I would have took it. What other messages do we have for this ancient divine being? What do they need to know at this time? What do this ancient divine being needs to know at this time? Yeah. 18. This person was acting solely out of their shadow and still is. And this is why they're being judged and punished. They are highly triggered. They're not thinking clearly. They're constantly trying to project onto others. Yeah. Spirit is saying they're going to cause more obstacles and challenges for themselves. Number five could be significant. Number 18 could be significant. Number 14. Spirit is saying have patience at this time. Uh, you may feel as though that nothing is occurring to stop this individual from doing what they're doing. But Spirit is saying have patience. They're letting them rack up the karma and the debt. <laughs> have patience. Ooh. I'm going to take the three that popped up. These three were face down. Wow, look at that. Heart chakra out. Wanted to come out. Yeah, this was someone that was playing on your heart chakra. You could you could have been a very, uh, very pure with them in these connections. And they took advantage of that. 
And so now spirit is calling judgment. Yeah, look at this. With uh, root chakra coming out here, they were trying to throw magic at your finances, at your survival to make you feel unstable and to knock you off. They were trying to make you feel unba unbalanced. And this could have very well affected... Um, Wow, I thought it was three cards that popped out. It was only these two. So I'll take that. I'll take the heart chakra off. Because I do feel like you, divine, ancient divine being, are a very pure person. And you, you operate out of love. And you try to help others. And they took advantage of that. And then they were trying to make you feel unstable and unsafe by knocking off your balance, throwing magic at your chakras. Could it even be your sacral chakra too, making you feel unsafe and paranoid? But spirit is giving you spiritual strength at this time. With number nine popping out here, you're definitely re receiving strength from them at this time. You are definitely someone that's obedient to spirit and that's in alignment. You're grounded and this person is highly triggered. Spirit is saying, now that you have spoken your peace and you've set up your boundaries, you don't need to keep addressing the situation. They're going to handle it from here on out. What else do these ancient divine beings need to know at this time? What else do these ancient divine beings need to know at this time? Yeah, accelerated motion. Things are being set up for you. This fortune, these winds. Like I said, number seven and eight could definitely be significant for you. We have six, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine out here. You're definitely ascending. Yeah, number two. Wow, look at that. Movement, choices, and decisions. You're going to be able to move freely and make decisions and choices that greatly benefit you and make you feel good about where you are in life. Look at the colors. Like I said, orange and red could be significant for you. I even did have yellow written down as well. I, I have so many downloads. Oh, wow. And I had blue written down. Look at that. Oh, the colors right there. I'm sorry for my handwriting, guys. But yeah, you're you're being gifted at this time. Like I said, they were trying to cause disruptions. Spirit isn't going for that. What other messages do we have for these ancient divine beings? Yeah, look at that. Rest and rejuvenate. Number four, you could be a path life number four. It's time for you to rest and rejuvenate. You may even be being called into nature to be amongst the trees at this time. They may have things that they want to discuss with you replenish you even nature spirits could be significant for you you could be someone that loves working with them take that how that resonates in different cultures they're called different things they're calling out to you though they want to renew you yeah look at this fulfillment and wishes number nine you're getting your wishes fulfilled you're going to be you're going to be victorious in this you're going to have a, a huge victory in this Spirit is saying you deserve it. You definitely deserve it. 13, 13, when I said that, you could be someone that considers yourself a witch. This could have been a, a coven or some type of cult you've gotten away from, a group of people even. Yeah, 26, they were bringing hostilities your way. They were making situations with you hostile. 26, breaking in on the eight again. Jeez, you could even be seeing a lot of eights and sevens. What are the messages? Wow, I love how that came out in three. Yeah, woman holding the coin. You're definitely someone that's coming into these blessings. The spirit is like, listen, you're prepared for whatever storm comes your way. And what comes your way is someone that was thinking and plotting on how to take your blessings from you. But you were already warned. We have 46, 42 out here. Those could be your ages. What do these ancient divine beings need to know at this time? What'd I say? You're getting a victory here. With number 28, new beginnings on top of that. That's coming out to a 10 and we already had 10 here. Yeah, so appreciate this part of the journey. A lot of you have been showing a lot of gratitude and appreciation and spirit sees it. With number 15 out here, yep. Yeah. Number eight, these people were trying to put you in a form of indecision. They were trying to make you feel like you didn't know up from down, left from right. And spirit is saying, not, not my baby. 
not not this ancient divine chosen being. Yeah, look at that. You're getting door to value. You're gaining caring connections. This can come in the form of some type of community for you or person that you may meet. You could be 31. Your birthday could be on the 14th. A door to value here. Your birthday could be on the 15th. The 26th. The 2nd. The 8th. The 7th. The 5th. The 4th. <laughs> What else do these ancient divine beings need to know at this time? What else do these ancient divine beings need to know at this time? Give me one last message. Perfect. One last message. Yeah, number 18. These people are going to be in anxiety over watching you win. They're going to have to suffer in silence. They're definitely going to have to suffer in silence. What messages do we have from the gods, goddesses, and guardians? messages do we have for these ancient divine beings? 15.55 on the clock. Wow, we have Bridget because you're a healer. You are this healer. You're a light worker. You could be seeing 144 a lot. You could, you could do massages or Reiki. You could be someone that that helps heal people through helping them with their beauty. Maybe you do hair or makeup or nails. You could be in the medical field. What other messages do we have at this time? Wow, perfect. We have two additional cards. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. We have Ra's energy. And before my last few lives, I was picking up on his energy. Share your gifts. You are this healer. These people know that. They were trying to trick you up out your spot. Wow, look at this. Bottom of the deck. We have hell here. End of cycle. Like I said, you're closing out cycles here. You're someone that's coming up on this new beginning and you earned it because you are this healer. We have Merlin out here. He could be significant for you. You could be working with these deities. Nonetheless, you hold cosmic knowledge. This is why you're being blessed. This is why these people wanted to hurt you. Look at that on top of this other deck. Trust your senses. Wow. Evil eye returned back to sender. And we have your next familiar may be a dog. But I take that as you have a lot of protection around you at this time. Your team is very loyal, very protective. Where I want you to share your gifts. Now is not a time to hide. You are being divinely guided, blessed, and protected. Confirmation on them doing that Hekka magic on you. We have Hekka himself popping out here. He loves and guides you in your magical workings. I just said you were divinely guided and protected. You are a very magical and ancient being. Yeah, look at that. You could be a prophetess. You're someone with a very free spirit. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Do not fight the twin flame journey. It was a part of your awakening. This could have been a twin flame for you. And that's all right, because Spirit is saying, don't fight it. And I don't think you have. You feel like someone that has, you know what it is, and you're like, I'm going to keep moving forward. You're you're this pro you're a prophet or a prophetess. You could be someone that's non-binary. You could definitely be uh, working with the Neturu. What kind of messages do we have for this ancient divine being? What other messages do we have for this ancient divine being? Yeah, look at that. We have Southern Bantu people popping out here. Shadow beings have always watched over you. They're curious about you. These could be your ancestors. You could be seeing Ten Ten. Yeah, you could have a lot of indigenous and African roots. Jeez, wow. Look at that. Aunts and uncle ancestors wanted to fly out. Sheesh, we have a deity of magic wants to work with you. Research and connect. Confirmation on that heck of energy. Like I said, you are a very ancient and divine being. All right. I'm going to end it here and close out this reading. I now send back all of your energy fully and completely. And I fully and completely call back mine. And I close out this reading. All right. Thank you so much, Ancient Ones. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you feel called to, so we'll see you to the channel. Love you.